I'm Mike Lambert, and I'm here to show you the Merchant Advantage Application Training Series Custom Flat File Standard and Delta Imports session. And so we're going to get started right away. Uh, the intention of this particular session is to show you how to get information from outside of the Merchant Advantage system into the Merchant Advantage system. And uh, we support most uh, file formats, um, all that we're aware of. And we're going to today show uh, Flat File, which is going to include comma separated. Here's an example of a comma separated file. Notice the headers here. That's the first row. Name, SKU, name, model, manufacturer are separated by commas and that is a comma separated. Usually the extension is .csv. Um, another way that you might have flat file information existing somewhere uh, is tab delimited. This is the same data file but uh, the headers and all the subsequent data is separated by tabs uh, and we of course support that as well. Um, the way we're going to do it today, though, for various reasons, is we're going to use an Excel spreadsheet. Again, another flat file format. And in this case, I have it opened in Excel, and you can see that we have uh, SKU, name, model, manufacturer, menu option, and so forth in these headers. And so what we need to do, if this is a custom import, is we need to let the Merchant Advantage system know which headers or which columns to expect and what to do with them. So the very first step within the Merchant Advantage system is going to be to go to Product Data and Header Maps. And we're doing flat file. We're not doing the complex XML file imports. We're doing a simple flat file custom import. And I happen to have one set up uh, exactly for the spreadsheet I showed you. We, I call it uh, standard product import. And what you'll see in this screen is all of the fields currently available to you in the Merchant Advantage system on the left side, in this, in this left column. On the right side, we have your import fields, whatever the headers are in the, in the sheet that I just showed you in this case. And so you'll see these are all the headers that we were just showing, the product name, we actually call name and sale price, quantity, product page, and so forth. The one field that's absolutely imperative in, in this import process is uh, the SKU or product code, the unique identifier of each product. And so that we can identify one product as being different from the next, that's the one field that really needs to be correct. The rest of this information can be used for sending out in feeds, or it could be used uh, as collateral data, data to, to be used in decision making on whether to send the product information out or not to a particular channel. So now that this header map is made and called standard product import, we're going to go over and configure an import. Okay, and in the import screen, again, I have one set up in advance so you can see this is a complete import we're doing in this case. So I want to clear out the Merchant Advantage system entirely and bring in all the products anew. And so this is, uh, I'm going to delete anything in this storefront and then bring all the information in. Um, I called my storefront sample storefront. Uh, it's an Excel sheet. Um, I'm doing the standard product import header file that I just created or showed you. Um, we're using local. Typically, um, our merchants do not use local for uploads for, for a majority of their imports. Their um, files are, or, or if it's not API driven, their files are sit on a server. Um, in my case, for this demo, I'm just pulling it from my desktop. And here's where I go. It's an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm using the sheet product. That was the first sheet in that spreadsheet I showed you. It was called product. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, well, before I import, I'm going to show you in my Merchant Advantage database, I currently have no products. Um, and so that's just so you can see the difference after I do the import. And so let's do the import now. And uh, the import has started. I've told the server I want an import. Uh, it's made a queued record. It's following the queued record, and we can just follow along. It's done. Five records were imported. So I go back here again, and um, here's my five products. And so let's see how that came in. I'll look at maybe this one. And you can see I've got the image, the product URL. This is that uh, menu information, contents. I've got some caption uh, or description information, and everything that I want. Um, another thing that I, I wanted to point out really quickly is in the Channelytics Reporter mock product. Uh, notice right now that the cost is a dollar and the sale price is a dollar, and that there are five products in this in this uh, storefront. So I'm going to use the same exact uh, header map, but uh, I want to do a delta import. Now delta import means uh, I want to import but intelligently. So if the product already exists in my system, leave it. If the product's not already in the system, insert it. And if the product is in our system but there's been some data change, go ahead and edit that and make the data change. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a different import. I'm going to pick the delta import. Notice it uses the same header. So the, the spreadsheet is laid out the same way. And I'm just going to do an import. Let me just show you that spreadsheet so you see what I'm doing. In the Delta tab, you can see I have SKU, name, model, but notice that in the ChannelX Reporter, I have $2 in the sale price, and I've added a new product here called the Channel Management 2 product with a new SKU. And so I'm going to go ahead and import that uh, right now. And uh, 
it'll come into the system. And what I'm hoping to see, once this is done, let's just take a look and see if it's done. It's almost done. Uh, once this is done, we can go over to our products table again and take a look at what's in there. First of all, notice that there are six instead of five. Here's our new product uh, that I just added. And also inside Channelytics Reporter, there should be a, a change to that individual product. And there it is. It's the sale price. It's two. Now, this was uh, very easy to see because I have five or six products in here. Obviously, the system uh, is set up to work with significantly more than that. We have 5,000, 50,000, 500,000, and in, in 5 million in some cases. So um, the system will support all of that. Uh, after you've done this import, whether it be the complete or the delta import, uh, the next step might be to either set up a schedule for it to happen automatically or a trigger so that this import would occur based on some sort of event like a file arriving on the Merchant Advantage servers or another import completing. And so you would schedule or uh, create a trigger for these imports to occur and that would be the next step and be shown in a different session video. So I hope this information helps you understand how Merchant Advantage is configured for custom flat file imports. Um, and please review some of our other videos to see some other functionality. Thank you.